Hey Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading and predictions. In this reading, we are going to find out the person on your mind's true intentions towards you. Uh, today is the 6th of November 2023. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 5.31 p.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. The person on Virgo's mind right now, what is your true intention towards Virgo? Now, Virgo, think about the person right now that you like to know. What are their intentions towards you? Spirits and angels, please show me. Thanks for being here, Virgo. Five of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I. S oh, one second. <laughs> My microphone just dropped. Okay. Okay, so I see a couple of versions here, Virgo. Just take what resonates with you. If you're separated from this person, the intention is to actually reconcile, but not telling you about it, not talking about it, not even taking any actions towards it because of the 801s of verse. So they're just also with the fool here. If you're separated from this person, the fool indicates them wanting to try being free, being single, um, see what else is out there before they are sure that you are the one for them because the ten of cups here can indicate maybe there's a chance of reconciliation it's definitely in this person's mind at the back of this person's mind but at the same time the fool is like let me just free myself first let me liberate myself first um i want to try what else is out there okay if you're separated from this person. However, Virgo, if this is someone relatively new, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse, The Fool. Now, The Fool can be somebody who is foolishly in love or can indicate like just cr a crush as well. So, Virgo, I do see if this is someone relatively new, okay? When I say relatively new, within one year, one year and below. Um, that both of you have known each other for or have been connected, connecting. And the fool here indicates this person feeling like, whoa, I do want to take risks with Virgo, but I'm not sure how things are going to pan out. Um, it feels like with the sun in reverse, they're not even clear. It's like they're not seeing things very clearly. You know, wearing what do you call the rose colored glasses? <laughs> Eight of Wands and my first four wands. Even I think Virgo, the funniest thing is if there's someone kind of new, they're overlooking potential obstacles or potential. Um, not that they're overlooking it, it's almost like okay, it doesn't matter right now at this point in time because it's still so new still early on still very new and with the fool here it's like the fool takes risks right so they could be just like hey let me just take a new leap of faith with virgo even though i'm still not very clear if we're going to communicate very well in the future or the sun in reverse if i'm going to actually be happy if we're going to work well as a team three of pentacles in reverse but I'm choosing to a soul tier in reverse. I'm choosing to believe that things are going to work out. Things are going to pan out. Okay. I feel like that's the second version. But there is also a third version I'm seeing here, Virgo. Some of you, um, this can apply to any situation, right? The fool here is like this person feeling as though the person on your mind, they're intention is to like hey you know let's do it first 
four wands and then see what happens later it's kind of you know maybe this person is like ignoring any red flags i'm not saying that i mean nobody's perfect okay i'm also a virgo but i think their intention is to like just be in the moment okay be in the moment and i feel like the third version right now it feels like e even like very very early on in the connection like too too soon to tell okay too soon to tell now the second version when i was saying that like within one year or less maybe some of you have already been connecting with this person even if there's something like if, even when there's some obstacles i see them wanting to try okay and hoping for the best with the ten of cups here but the third version it feels like if this is someone like so super super new like you just started kind of talking uh with you know like one month less than one month that kind of energy i'm picking up on their intention is like let's see what happens <laughs> Let's do it and let's see what happens, even though they have no idea, even though they don't really know you very well. It's the swords in reverse, but two swords in reverse is like, I'm just going to choose to again, you know, sort of like hope for the best. It, it's kind of similar to the second version, but anyway, just take what resonates with you, okay? Picking up on multiple energies here, Virgo. Justice, six of wands. Now, the justice is a very serious card, right? Um, the intention is to be serious or potentially becoming serious with you. But if you're separated from this person, then their intention is to... If you're separated from this person, their intention is to uh, balance this connection. It's like do it right this time around okay if both of you were to reconcile but you know i really don't see them taking any actions as of right now if you're separated from this person because the knight of cups here is in reverse if you're separated the intention is to like hey let's see how things will adjust during that separation right now i want to be free with the fool here I want to see what else is out there. I'm in the dark, but if if they're not happy with what's out there, then they will try and return with the four ones. Then they will think about reconciling with you. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Now, although the sun is in reverse and ace of swords here in reverse, it feels like, and this can, can apply to anything, any type of connections. It's just almost like, it feels very new again. Also at the same time, it feels like I don't really know yet. I'm not really sure yet, but then I would like to take a chance. And the justice here, try to do, you know, the right thing. But whatever happens, happens. Now the six of wands is to impress you. I do sense um, there's somebody here who wants to impress you, person on your mind. The intention is to communicate with you eventually if you're not communicating right now. Um, see, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and Morris also can indicate no communication. For those of you, if you're thinking about somebody whom you're not communicating with, I see the intention is to communicate with you eventually. But right now, I see them exploring elsewhere you know, keeping their options open. For some reason, they think that, you know, you're going to be there when they return or when they reach out to you that you're going to maybe say something, maybe you will agree to reconciling, but they're not sure, they're not sure. But I see them just, you know, kind of like looking out for themselves. Because the Six of Wands is like them, you know, liking the attention of others as well and even if this is someone relatively new there's still i still see them kind of like you know i still want to see what else is out there because i'm still not sure 100 percent sure yet if virgo is the one i would like to spend the rest of my life with or to be committed to 
And especially if this is like a very, very, very new connection, right? And the six of wands, sometimes I read it as like peacocking, like somebody wants attention. So the intention is to also want your attention, whoever this person could be, wanting your attention. If not, it's like wanting other people's attention as well. Let's see, just a little bit more Virgo. I'm picking up on so many random energies here. Just take what resonates with you. Two of Cups. Tension is to be with you, to talk to you. Um, I would say that this person does desire you or desire to work with you, depending on the type of connection that you have with this person. I do see them being, again, very drawn to you. And then, look, Five of Swords. So I don't really like the Five of Swords. Whatever the case is, Virgo, I feel like this person is definitely looking out for themselves. I mean, who doesn't look out for themselves, right? Um, especially if there are some issues within this connection. If both of you are separated and also if this is someone relatively new in your life. Five of Swords also can indicate, you know, let me play my cards well. Let me play my game well. So I will win. Either it is to win your heart, win your attention, or to win out of spite, especially if both of you are separated, okay? But also, again, I keep picking up on this energy where the person's person on your mind, their intention is to like, hey, I just really want to make sure that Virgo is the one for me. In the meantime, I'm just kind of like keeping an open mind because the... Fool is a very open card out in the open, as you can see. Definitely there is a willingness to, you know, have a new start with you, take a new leap of faith with you, or to eventually talk to you or talk to you now and express to you how they feel about you. But I feel like this is more like them waiting to tell you these things later on. It doesn't feel like they want to do it right now or to confirm anything right now or to reconcile right now again it feels like i just want to try i want to see whether it's them trying to be single if both of you are separated or try other options first and then come back around or it could be someone new it's just like let's see where this goes where this goes because i do i am interested right page of wants and two cups here I'm interested in Virgo. I'm interested in, in partnering with Virgo. Um, but because of the tower in reverse, trying to avoid any tower moment, as in what if things don't work out? Let me just, you know, not move too fast or not invest completely yet in in Virgo and this connection. But I do see that, um, however, the intention is to, you know, be with you or to partner with you, work with you depending on the type of the connection that both of you have with each other. Now the cherry here is a malverse, so there is this hesitancy of um, moving too fast. I see they are sure for now, okay? Especially if it's someone kind of new. It's like, I'm sure for now, I'm head over heels with the fool here. I'm head over heels. I find Virgo to be very attractive, um, has got a lot to offer. I'm really, really into Virgo. If this is a romantic connection, I'm serious with the justice here, but I'm not going to like put my heart and soul into this connection yet because the Knight of Cups here is in reverse. Afraid again of the Tao moment, afraid of failure, afraid of unexpected uh, changes or unexpected ending. Really wanting to see if eventually both of you can work together. But right now, they're still, you know, kind of like in that phase where it's like, okay, I'll, 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 I'll do, I'll do um, what I think is right, right now, because the justice is right here. But the intention to go all the way towards the end with the Ten of Cups um, with a sortium of verse is not really that clear yet, okay? And, you know, but then the Ten of Cups is here. That means there's some some intention there to to go through with this connection towards the, all the way towards the end. Because number 10, 10 is a 
you know, is a completion number in tarot. Let's pull out some of these romance angels here. Let's see more Virgo. Wedding, see? Wedding is to me Ten of Cups, Justice. So there is at least a level of seriousness, some seriousness there, either to reconcile if both of you are separated because there is a card that indicates separation. So for those of you who are separated from this person, this is the person who is on your mind. I do sense that their intention to finally maybe reconcile with you, but at the same time, they will, either they're manipulative playing games or that they just want their freedom for now and see what else is out there, okay? But then if this is someone relatively new and you're currently connected to, um, they want to make sure that you could actually be the one. Flirt, definitely highly attracted to you if there's a romantic connection. Soulmate, this person could actually be a soulmate. And I do see them wanting to go all the way towards the end with the wedding right here. Um, yes. I'm sorry, I'm recording right now. Sorry, I'm recording right now. I'll, I'll come to you in a bit, okay? Wedding. Sorry, <laughs> that's my housemate. Um, so I definitely see this person wanting to go all the way towards the end. With the intention is there, but how clear about how clear they are or how positive they are in regards to you know, um, building a life with you and to go with you towards the end, they're still not really clear, but I, I do see them wanting to, you know, at least try with a fool here. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to all of my other channels. I have four channels all together. All the links are in the description box below. And I hope to see you back here again uh, sooner than later. Take care, Virgo. Love you. Bye.